Okay, so um, I just got home. I was on set all day and I checked my phone after literally not having it for like 12 hours and I had so many text messages and so many missed calls about this video that was posted today from Trisha Paytas, I am transgender. I was shocked. I was a little bit offended. I was a little bit confused. I was a lot confused. And I was just flabbergasted because now, you know, like YouTube videos, there's clickbait, there's shock culture, there's all this stuff. You never know what is real. So on the drive home, I had about like 45 minutes in the car and I was like, I have to watch this for myself because this is just like insane. The amount, like literally, I'm, I'm talking like hundreds and hundreds of people hit me up about this. I try to stay out of the drama. I try to keep everything positive, keep it moving. But once I watched the video, I kind of understood why people were asking me so much about it. I mean, obviously being transgender and sharing my story for so many years here on YouTube, I've had my own journey. I've had my own struggles. I've gone through the highs and the lows of being trans and being out with my identity. I've come out several times. I've gone through hate comments galore. I've heard it all and I'm still here. So I feel like I really need to share my opinion on this. I had to watch the video because I didn't know if it was real. I had no idea what was going on. I had no idea why all these people were asking me for my opinion on it. You guys know Trisha and I go way back. We have known each other for years. First and foremost, it is so hard to come out and say that you are something that is not normal or not traditional. And I respect that courage because knowing how nervous I was posting my I am transgender video coming out telling the world I am a transgender woman, it was a pivotal point in my life that changed my life forever. After I watched the video, I was really confused. So I called Trisha. A lot of the people actually who had commented and texted and called me had asked me, did you know that Trisha was transgender? Did you know this? And I said, no, I had absolutely no idea. This is a shock to me, just as it is you. So on the phone with Trisha, the transgender label was confirmed and I found out that the video was not clickbait, the video was not shock value, that Trisha is transgender. And I heard that on the phone talking to Trisha. So I disagreed with a few things in the video and speaking personally from my own experience, I went through so much body dysmorphia with being the most hyper feminine, you know, always having to look super girly because that's what I thought a woman was. But what I found out through the years, through my journey is that being transgender is who you are. It's your soul. It's not about how you look. And I think the things that Trisha was referring to in the video, specifically talking about genitals, saying, you know, I've hooked up with people who were partially transitioned and then people who were fully transitioned. It's like, that didn't sit well with me because I know looking back at the beginning of my transition, if I had seen a video like that online, I would have thought, you know what? I'm not gonna be done unless I have the surgery. I'm not gonna be done unless I fix myself. But you don't have to have anything done to be transgender, it's who you are. I feel that that was a little confusing to me and definitely disrespectful towards the community. Whatever you have in between your legs does not define who you are. You do not need to have sexual reassignment surgery to be a transgender woman or a transgender man. And if you're watching this and you are questioning your gender identity or sexual orientation or anything, don't base it off of what's going on down there. It's a mind fuck, it's disgusting, and it'll eat you alive. And Trisha talked about dating apps and you know, like even if you are completely fixed, if you tell the guy you're talking to, I'm trans, they're gonna be pissed. And what I wanna say is, Dating is hard in general. Being transgender, it's even harder. That's just a fact. Been there, done that. Experienced it, now happily married, thank God. If they judge you, if they're pissed, if you're ever in a place of violence or you're scared for your safety, that person is not worth it. And that is a harsh reality that my community goes through. I mean, there's been 18 transgender women who have been killed this year alone. Throwing the term out, being transgender, should not be taken lightly. That is not an option that we have. This is a very serious topic at hand. And I firmly believe that when someone tells you who they are, what their label is, how they want to be identified, you have to believe that person. Because for me, when I came out as trans, 
it was a fucking journey, bitch. Having people switch over my pronouns, switch over my name, really change my identity, essentially. Having people question that, being like, is she really? Trisha said, I am a transgender man, and that is exactly how I will view him. A lot of people are angry at things that were said in Trisha's video. And as a community, we've had years to reflect, years to learn, years to grow. All I'm trying to do is say, please do not spread hate and direct hate towards ignorance. We need to educate the ignorant because there is already enough hate and ignorance. I think it's time for us to turn our knowledge into power for those who don't have it yet. Everyone's journey is different and no one has the right to make you feel invalidated. If you are just at the beginning of your transition, if you are in the trenches of your transition, please enjoy every single step. It's not about the end result. It is about the journey. I just want to let you know that I love you and you are beautiful. You are unique and you are so strong. Just remember my mom's favorite quote, one of my favorite quotes ever. Those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind. Stay authentic, stay genuine, spread love and not hate. And until I see you guys next time, stay gorgeous.